Welcome to a video taking a look at Pythagoras' theorem. We use Pythagoras' theorem when we have a right angle triangle, so like this triangle down the bottom here. We have got two sides already, so we know what the side AB is and we know what the side BC is. We know what those two are, we've got those already. And then lastly, we're looking to try to find a missing side. So we are trying to find the length A to C. So, in order to do this, there are four easy steps. The first step is we square. Okay, so we're looking to find this side AC. We're going to square one of the sides that we already know. So we're going to square 6. So 6 squared gives us 36. We then square 8. So we square the other side that we know. Squaring 8 gives us 64. Then, if we're looking for the longer side, we're going to add. If we're looking for a shorter side, we subtract. Now, we are looking for the longer side here. The longer side is always the side that is opposite the right angle. So this side, AC, is opposite the right angle. So at this point, we are going to add our two answers. So 64 plus 36 is going to give us 100. Then the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to square root our answer to the square um, our answer to the sum of the two squares. So we square root 100 and that gives us an answer of 10. So we can say that the length AC is 10 I was about to write centimeters but it's not it's in meters. So 10 meters. So the length AC is 10 meters. Let's take a look at a second example. We're asked to find the length YZ. Um, so again, we've got a right angle triangle. We've got two sides that we know. We're looking to find the missing one. So in order to do this, we need to square 15. 15 squared, that gives us 225. Well, then we need to square 12. So 12 squared gives us 144. Now, in this situation, we already have got the longest side. So now, instead of adding these two things together, we're going to subtract them. So 225, subtract 144. That gives us an answer of 81. And then the last step is we simply square root our answer. So square root of 81, that gives us 9. And so the length YZ is going to be 9 centimetres. OK, what I suggest you do is you pause the video now and attempt these three questions using the four steps that we've just looked at. Then press play and I will answer them. OK, so the first one. We've got a uh, right angle triangle again. We are going to square 12. So 12 squared, that gives us 144. We're going to square 13. That gives us an answer of 169. We are then going to subtract these two. We've got the longest side already. We're looking to find one of the shorter sides. So we're going to take away 144 from 169. That's going to give us an answer of 25. And so then we're going to square root 25 as our last step. And that gives us an answer of 5. So this length here, this length of our triangle, would be 5 centimetres. Okay, again, we've got another right angle triangle. We've got two sides. We are missing one of them. So we're going to start off by squaring. So we're going to square 10. That gives us 100. Then we're going to square 4. That gives us 16. Then I'm going to take 16 away from 100. 100 minus 16. That's going to give me an answer of 84. I'm then going to square root 84 and that will tell me the length that I am missing. So I'm going to need a calculator for this. So square root of 84, that's going to give me an answer of 9.1651 etc. Um, what I'll do is I'll round that to three significant figures so we'll call that 9.17. 9.17 to three significant figures. Okay, last one. Again, we've got uh, a right angle triangle where we've got two sides and we're missing a length. This time, 
the side that we're looking for is opposite the right angle. So if it's opposite the right angle, it's the longer side, we're going to have to add our two squares. So 5 squared gives me 25. 6 squared gives me 36. Adding these together is going to give me 61. So 25 plus 36, that gives me 61. Then lastly, I'm just going to have to square root my answer. Square root of 61, that's going to give me an answer of, let's take a look, <clears throat> an answer of, again, to three significant figures, 7.81. 81 centimeters. So we could say that the length of this tri the length of this side here, the side that's missing, is 7.81 centimeters.